Have you ever stayed up in the middle of the night wondering how you're ever going to finish those pesky trigonometry ratios? Have your friends ever made fun of you for not knowing them? Well, we're here to help with the revolutionary left hand trick. I'm Connor. I'm Asman. And we want to welcome you to Tricks of Trigonometry. To start off, let's take a look at the actual trig ratios. Here we have the sine ratios, and then below that are the cos ratios, which are the same as the sine ratios, but they are flipped. And then finally, it's the tan ratio, which is just sine, which is divided by cos. Now, this chart looks so boring and ordinary. Who wants to sit down and memorize this when you can have it ready to use in your fingertips whenever? That's right, Isman. Let's take a look at our left hands. Imagine your thumb as 0 degrees, your index finger as 30 degrees, your middle finger as 45 degrees, your ring finger as 60 degrees, and your pinky as 90 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look at the tricky part. Say our value is 2, so let's write that down. We're going to take that value and get the square root of it, which is going to be square root of 2, and then we're going to divide it by 2. So it's going to end up looking like this. And at this point, we can't simplify it. So we're going to continue. Great example, Usman. From there, now that we actually have all the components to do this trick, we're going to take a look at the sine and cosine values of 30 degrees. So for 30 degrees, if we put this finger down, we're going to have one left on our thumb side and three left on our pinky side. Now let's implement the tricky part. We're going to look at the pinky side, and we got the value of 3 for it. We're going to get the square root of 3, and then we're going to divide it by 2, which gives us the answer of cos 30 degrees equals the square root of 3 over 2. Moving over to the thumb side, we get the value of 1. Then we have the square root of 1, then we're going to divide the square root of 1 by 2. And as we all know, 1 times 1 equals 1, so the square root of 1 is 1. And it gives us the answer of sine 30 degrees equals 1 over 2. Usman, you're forgetting something. Really? Am I, Connor? You silly goose, you forgot to tell them which side is sine and which side's cos. Gee whiz, Connor, I did. <laughs> the value from the thumb side is going to represent the sine value, and the value from the pinky side is going to represent the cos value. You know what, Connor, I think people are still may be a bit confused. Do you want to go through some more? Yes. Okay, now let's take a look at my hand. As you can see, the 45 degree finger is down which means we have two fingers on each side. Two on the thumb side and two on the pinky side. Wait, Usman, does that mean both sides are the same? It sure does, Connor, but don't jump ahead. Let's go and look at the play-by-play. -play. We got the pinky side and we got the value of two. We're gonna get the square root of two and then we're gonna divide it by two, which gives us cos 45 degrees equals the square root of two over two. Moving to the thumb side, we also got two. We're gonna get the square root of two and then we're gonna divide it by two again, which gives us sine 45 degrees equals the square root of two over two. There you have it, folks. That was a left-hand trick, and we hope it helps. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Math Attack. Tune in next week where we divide stuff by zero.